hello everyone so this video is about iron digestion and absorption so if we talk about the forms of iron we eat and form available in our body so the total distribution of iron the total iron in our body is around 4 grams and this is in available in functional form and non functional form functional form 70 around 75 percent and 25 percent is about non functional form which is kind of a stored form Functional form is in hemoglobin, in myoglobin and some enzymes like cytochromes and non-functional forms are like how they are transported and where they are stored in our body that is transferrin which is the transport protein because in free form it will be very toxic so transferrin help in transporting iron throughout to our body and then ferritin and hemosiderins are basically the stored form which if exceed in amount then they will be dangerous to our body. If we talk about bioavailability of uh, iron, then the the part shown in red color basically decrease the absorption of iron, and green in color will increase the absorption of iron. Okay, so coming to digestion absorption, so for iron which we eat in stomach by acid, it will be converted into F2 positive form, so from ferric to ferrous form, because ferrous is only which can be transported in epithelium. Okay, so throughout epithelium, there are some transporter available which help in transport of this ferrous form into epithelium, and then from epithelium it will be absorbed into bloodstream, and from bloodstream it will be gone to uh, various tissues. Now let's see how. So this is a zoomed view of this epithelium cell, which is basically showing some. This is brush border epithelium having some transporter. Okay. And uh, uh, here, this is intestinal lumen. So, if in case F3 positive comes here, then there is ferric reductase, which is converting ferric into ferrous form, which can go directly via some transport. DMT1. Okay. So, dimethyl uh, transporter is available here, which is helping the F2 positive ion cross into inside the cell. And if this is heme iron, we are talking about that can go directly as heme and then F2 positive will be released here and this this F2 positive ferrous ion can be transported to blood by ferroportin this is a transport protein ferroportin and which can help in transporting F2 positive to blood this then again converted into ferric form and bind with transferrin which is a transport protein in blood and help in transport of iron to other tissues now what is fair then so ultimately via ferroportin it is transported with transferrin okay now this either can store into tissues as ferritin or go into liver again stored as ferritin or hapsidin is the liver binding protein for iron so basically depending on the demand and supply these forms are interchangeable with each other and the iron absorption depending on demands from stored form it can go to blood and from if it's in excess and there is no need then the the form uh, it bound the form bound with transferrin it is then uh, go to the tissues and it can be stored so serum ferritin is basically showing us how much iron store is available in our body that's why it's being assessed in many examinations okay and if iron uh, is excess in our body then it it is stored the stored amount is increased so increasing serum ferritin and hemosiderin which can cause many diseases okay so that's all about iron digestion and absorption so thanks for watching you have any query you can comment below thank you so much